we're gonna heal everybody. And we're gonna pop a flower tap so we have full FP. And we're gonna do this shit like a fucking boss. We're gonna call th we're gonna call upon the spirit of Slim Thug, and we're gonna do this shit. Let's go. Yeah, Bushi, play some Mega Man, dude. I I will I will I will vouch for playing more Mega Man as Drew has suggested. Mega Man is the tits. Although be prepared for a challenge, of course, but it's it's good stuff. Yeah, dude. Everybody's got some new emotes up in this shit. Dragon still has his old ones, of course. Yep, everybody's got their new emotes. GG tomorrow. For all the good, cool new emotes for everybody. It's good shit. Good shit. Um, let's see. I'm gonna kick this fight off with. Can you do this? Rolling with the homie. Rolling with the homie. Yeah, let's do it. You ready? Let's go. Let's go! As, as my voice said. Yo, Allie, thank you for that seven month resub, good sir. Appreciate it as always. Hope you're doing well. Um, I'm gonna pop a heal on this first turn. Again, staying ahead of the healing in the beginning is a good idea. All right, we're gonna focus. I mean, I'll AO maybe I shouldn't AOE with poison gas. Maybe I'll just focus on one at a time until they're dead. Because if I do the AOE, then I might poison one of them that I don't want to poison. And also, fuck, I missed my attack. I suck. I suck! Bougie doesn't have new emotes. Well, Bougie, maybe you should stream and get some new emotes, bitch. <laughs> Alright, two fucking little sharky boys down. Let me get ahead of the healing again. Remember, you're only killing... One more of these. All right. Time to focus on big boy now. Here we go. Mega Man X4 has been hella easy so far, Drew. Mega Man X4 is like still a good game. It's like where it's still fun to play and they didn't make it too challenging to where you get frustrated. But at the end of the day, I still find Mega Man X4 kind of forgettable, other than the fact that you, I think that's the first one you get to start playing as Zero, like, legitimately. But then it's X5 where things start to get a little, like, um, well, this is so frustrating game to play, and then, yeah, you already know where it goes from there, I, I assume. Not in a good direction. You want to emote with a pickle dipped in peanut butter. You want emotes that make people question their integrity. Oh my god. Pickle and peanut butter. No, 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 no. Anyway, Ali said he's chilling, working on not not <laughs> working on my neglected Gundam. Oh, sick. Yeah, I saw you pick of your Gundam in Marl's Discord, and it looks pretty sweet so far, sir. So GG on that. X5 and X6 are tough. More so the stages than the bosses. We don't speak of X7. It's funny, Ali, because all I've played is up through X6. I still got to play X7, just so I can say I did. But I'm aware of its abomination status. Trust me, I'm fully aware of it. X6, I... I, I, I believe that X6 is not very good. X6 has some frustration to the max. Like... It's not well designed. Let's just put it that way. It's not a very well designed game. So far, X3 is the hardest for you. I mean, in terms of actually beating the games, I think X5 and X6 are probably going to be tougher, Drew. I'll just say that now. I don't know. X5 might be questionable depending on how hard you find it, but I think 6 
was the most garbage of the ones I played, in my opinion, and hardest to beat. Maybe it's just because I wasn't enjoying it, I don't know. Alright, we're gonna focus on Big Boy back there. So he goes into tough mode, but he didn't go one-on-one -on -one mode. So it seems like the strat is kind of working. X3 is the one you had the most fun with, uh, Dragon. Five and six are harder. Yeah, that's what I figure. That's pro I mean, I shouldn't say that's what I figure. That's kind of how I remember it. That's what I should say. I remember X5 and six being much more difficult to beat and also just not being as well designed in general. Yeah, we'll see when you get there. We'll see when you get there, Drew. And I fully am uh, subscribed to the, uh, to the, um, to the, or the order of best Mega Man X games. Go X, two, three, four, five, six, six. Goes like that. That's the order of how good they are. I, I still hold that curve to, to that standard, in my opinion fucking downward slope from the first game. No peaks. It's just a downward slalom, y'all. I, I thought she was gonna die there. I was scared. And there's the rest of Morrow's new emotes. Looking sick. Looking sweet, looking cute, looking adorable, liking it, loving it, good shit. Keep pressing it too early on that dude, stop it. Nine, really? My attack output is so random. Yo, we got E. All right, victory is mine, y'all. You really can't skip the 1v1 part. And the last one just disappears. He said, oh, fuck that. Boss is dead, we out E. Wow. You know what, you're right. You should stream, but just pull up the mic next to your mouth and make it awkward to, to enjoy me playing Mega Man. <laughs> X2 and X3 just don't hit the same for you. I'm having more fun with X4, really. I mean, that's fair enough, Drew. Double the experience points. Do I go for it, y'all? Do we go big or go home? Do we do it live? We're doing it live, yo. Here we go. Oh, man. At least I didn't lose it. At least I didn't lose it. That's okay. It's okay. Anyway, GG on all the new emotes, Mara. Very, very well done. Let's see. I'm guessing this is an HP level up. Yeah. Malo's HP level. I'm impressed, matey. You've earned the star. Think of it as a souvenir for our fight. It only took a whole stream, but we're finally getting another star. Yee -yee. Hell yeah. Uh, all right. That place is rough, man. I didn't remember being that beefy seal. All right. Uh, now what? Hop on the trampoline in the next room. It'll take you outside. Go on now. Give it a try. Is there any secrets in this room, though? Johnny's our main man. He even fights in his sleep. We'd follow him anywhere. Arr. You must have really wanted that star. Now go on. Get out of here before I change my mind. It's not like you could have stopped me anyways. 
can only hope to contain a Mario Mario. I feel like this is a perfect room to hide a secret fucking block, but... Oh well, see ya! Alright guys, we did it. I believe now we head back to Seaside Town and see the aftermath. Oh wait! Oh shit. Doesn't something happen when you come here? Anyway, hee hee hee, you found the star, well done. But your journey ends here, you're so gullible. Don't you know who I am? I'm Yuridovich, a member of Smithy's gang. Shocked? It's no wonder, my impersonation of an ordinary person was flawless. Your search for the stars has worried Smithy. So if I take that star back to him, I'll earn his brownie points. This is the way to get ahead. It's futile to try and fight me, just hand it over nice and easy. Get serious, bro. So that's how you wanna play it? What do you think will happen to the real inhabitants of Seaside Town? I don't know. What are you doing? No, don't do that. No, please stop. Ah. Also, hey, Pickle. Thanks for the 10-year uh, happiness. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Now, it's a shame that for an innocent old man to be tickled like this. It's futile to try and find me. Ah, oh, man. It's a butt thou must situation. God damn it. Fine. He <laughs> and to think I got the star without even soiling my hands. I'm such a genius, it scares me sometimes. No wonder I'm so important. All right, everyone, listen up. We're returning to the castle. Our ride should be here about now. Well, Yuridovich, what a bitch. I actually did remember that. I remember getting a star and then having the star disappear, so... I do remember this vaguely. Oh, the houses are still locked? Am I supposed to chase this fucker down? I guess I'm supposed to chase this fucker down. Blade's late. Oh, sorry, wrong voice. Blade's late! What's taking him so long? We need to get out of here! This is just great! Mario caught up with us! Only one thing we can do now, although we may rust a little, we'll have to swim for it! Hell yeah, shark boys for the win! Not so fast there! That star's a gift to me, mate, Mario! You spineless dogs have no code of honor. We'll make you walk the plank. Johnny, maybe we should leave Mario the pleasure of wrapping things up here. <laughs> I guess we'll have to take our ruckus guys off now. Group formation. Anyway, Pickle said he was just stopping by on his way to bed. Had to work overtime and now you're poop. All right, man. Thanks for stopping and say hi. You have a good night, Pickle. I'll be over here whooping on Yuridovich's bitch ass. I forgot this boss fight was literally like right after you just fight Johnny. Something tells me he's going to be a little bit easier, but I don't know. We'll see. Unless his magic whoops my ass. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Hit him with that super jump, though. Let's go. Damn it. That was weak. Weak, I tell you. Weak. Let's try that poison gas. Poison him? I just wanted to know if I could poison him. I don't think it worked, unfortunately. Well, we won't know until he tries to attack us. Flamestone. Ow. All right. Uh, super flame? Super flame! Damn. That's a no bueno. No bueno situation. Regular attacks, I guess, for the win. Keep up with the heels, though. Oh boy, Marl's got over 300k channel points. What's she gonna do with them, guys? I'm scared. It's a lot of puntos. Ah, oh, fuck lord. Um... I'm guessing one of these is fake? I 
I don't know if I can tell. Damn, that did a lot of damage, actually. Meteor Blast? What the fuck is this? Oh, shit. Mario got fucked up. Oh, fuck. I'm out of it. <sighs> Alright, well, if I lose this, I know next time not to use up all my shit. This is bad. I don't know if I can win this. This is bad. Okay, he went back to single. That might actually help me a lot. Let me try this. I made Bowser fucking wake up. Maybe he can win this for me. Clutch this, Bowser. Clutch it. This guy does too much magic. Fuck my life, dude. So here's the problem. I just died. But this is before I beat Johnny. So fuck my life. Oh, and I didn't I missed I didn't miss the Russian accent thing more. I saw it, but I wanted to wait a second to do it because I was busy trying to figure out what the hell I was gonna do about that fight. So I wasted the only pick me up I had. That, oh no, I, I okay, apparently it didn't go away. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do the Russian accent today. I was mentioning earlier how my voices were pretty garbage today, Mara. My throat is not agreeing, but I'll try. Russian Funky shall try to speak Russian. Yes, here he is. Now he must redo all the fights from here until he gets to the part where he has to fight Johnny again, which is much bullshit. The fact that I have to fight Johnny again is very sad. Very sad day indeed. No, I must... I must acquiesce redemption no matter how bad throat feels. This voice technically does not hurt throat. I just do not know how strong I can do accent with current uh, situation. I don't know what I'm saying. My commentary has been overall garbage today. I do not think I have full energy. I do not feel like I am full hyper funky today. Probably is because only Tuesday during week. Tuesday is hard there to bring up energy level, but I will try. Free, free honey syrup from battle can help. Honey syrup soothes throat very nicely. If you drink on warmed up with little bit of tea mixed in. I know it is rough, I must fight Johnny again, but it is okay, because I still have my experience points, so I will sell me stronger for next fight against Johnny and his friends. Uh, I thought I had extra level up, but it was only for Mario. It is okay. We will persevere. We will be strong. I will not read dialogue, we will get back real quick. Could be worse. Good chance I get more levels. After fighting... Shark some more. Also, Mara going lurk mode while she makes dinner. That means she will not hear the Russian accent, which means Funky should walk away from the Russian accent while she's gone. Just kidding. Just kidding. I also saw conversation about how Dragon has many points on Funky's channel. What will he spend it on? He sounds like he wants to save for one million to make me play something on Nightmare Hard mode. What an asshole. Maybe I should take down Redemption as soon as he get to 1 billion, and then he will not be able to redeem. That is strong. Strong brain move.
I do have to remember that double stab for block. I am fucking this up royally. I am pressing too fucking early. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I now know why I remember why I did not lose item when I died. For I did not save using of item. So items did not get used. This is good. I still have pick me up. With good reason. I have not blocked one move, for I am terrible at blocking against these shark boys. The shark boys are mean. They must leave me alone. Leave me to my troubles. Run away, little shark man. For you will not defeat me by yourself. This is guaranteed. Level 13 for my boy Bowser Mang. This is good. Very strong. Strong boy will take extra HP this time. So will Gino. Hopefully we get one more level up before we get there. So Peach can also be level 13 for boss fight part 3. Rematch with Shark Boy. This time I will actually save game after beating Shark Boy. So for Yadrivich I do not have to do all this again. I did not realize boss would be this hard. Also, I did not realize I would fight two seconds into walking into town. It looks like tonight's stream will only be battle with this. Tonight's stream will only be ship level and one star only. I was hoping to make much more progress tonight. So much so that I would possibly finish on next stream. Very unlikely. May take a couple more streams to beat this game. This is okay. Just wasn't sure how long it might take. I will pound each bastard into oblivion with my hammer time. One hammer to face equals death to you. Another hammer to face equals not quite dead to you. Chop chop, he is dead. Bang. Bowser will get second chomp to chomp you dead as well. I will fuck it up by accidentally not pressing button on the right time. Stop the exit now. I think I've done it for long enough. Get out of here, shark boy. Alright, there's that level for Peach I was hoping for. Come, don't call it a comeback. Is that a revive move? Because that's what we needed right there. Oh, show. Bruh. Bruh. The revive move is going to be the fucking move right there, yo. Don't call it a comeback. Revive one or more? What? I'm guessing if you get the the uh, the action command right, you'll get you can revive more than one. Pretty sweet. And then probably the same goes for this one. Zonk one or more foes. Cool. Um. Cool. Um. Cool. You know what? I'm not gonna worry about it right now. You know what I will do? I will use them. No, you don't even. Do I won't even do that. We're good. Johnny, you're about to get fucked up again. Same strats. Let's go. I'm going to remember to save it after I win this this time, though. At the very least, I can make a save state, but I'm pretty sure there's a save point in town I could have used. I just didn't go to it. I was thinking it was going to take me to the map, and then we would chase down Yuridovich. I didn't remember going to the beach and fighting Yuridovich right there. That part I did not remember, if that wasn't obvious already. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for days. I'm gonna slap some sharks in their face. All right, one shark boy down. One chef, sh chef shark RD, chef boy shark D. Uh, you know what? No, just no. Joke is gone. I don't know why. 
the word shark made me think of Chef Boyardee. Just because of the sh and the R, I don't know. Maybe it, my mind makes weird connections sometimes. What can I say? Yeah, I feel like my commentary days have been kind of meh at best. I truly think it is because of the Tuesday. Like, I just... It's one of those Tuesdays where I was mentally drained from work and I was just like... Playing, playing the game. And also, this playthrough is requiring me to, you know, focus in battles because I actually have to press action commands and stuff. It's hard to just, like, fuck around and just mash the button and just read chat. I'm over here trying to make sure I'm paying attention to when I do my attacks. Oh, shit. Don't kill that guy. I almost forgot. Fuck my life. Oops. I almost killed that boy already. Oopsies. That would have been a dumb boy move. See what I mean about paying attention? That would have been me not paying attention. Get chomped on, Sharky boy. Handle the slap, homie. Handle it. Like, I have so little damage right now, I'm not even gonna heal, bitch. Ooh, and he missed. And he missed. So we're doing a bit more damage than we did last time on him, I think, it seems like. So that's good. Seems like a kind of a abusable thing, just like being able to fight boss fights over and over again. You could definitely abuse the hell out of that. It's kind of crazy to think how much you could abuse that in this game. With the way the experience system works anyways. But I guess it's a good way to look at it like, if you're going to take the time to grind for levels anyways, like just save you the time. It just saves you the time more than anything. And I think I mentioned this already once earlier in the playthrough, but playing this again is making me really want to play like Paper Mario and stuff. Because I never got to play those on the channel. I shouldn't say I never got to. I just never have. The thing is, I've played the first Paper Mario a couple times. It's been a long ass time, probably like 15 years since I last touched Paper Mario 1. And even just as long for Paper Mario 2 for that matter. And I've watched plenty of Let's Plays and stuff with both of those games over the years, but yeah. Anyway, we beat Johnny's ass for the second time. Let's go save it now. But yeah, Paper Mario is a really fun game. Like, I, I think both of them, all of them, all the Paper Marios. They're all good games. Well, at least the first three. Until they got to the Paper Mario Sticker Star and Color Splash. In fact, I don't even hate Color Splash. I hated Sticker Star more. I don't like the sticker system. Color Splash, I don't like the card system either, but I like it better than the sticker system. Let's just put it that way. And I haven't even touched the newest Paper Mario, the one that was on the Switch. I've heard good and bad things. I've heard, I've heard, I've heard mixed opinions on the battle system for that game. So if I ever played that, at least we'd have one blind possible playthrough. Because I did play all of Color Splash. The only one I haven't beaten that I played was Sticker Star. I didn't finish that one. I just didn't like it enough to even finish it. You know, we can stop here and save it. This is a good place to stop and save, actually. Because we there's a save point here, and there's a dude to talk to if we wanted to buy stuff. If we wanted to buy stuff. I'm not going to buy stuff, but if I wanted to, I could. Okay. How close am I to another level? I'm pretty far from another level. So let's just hold, roll with our level 13 for this. We'll probably never get another Thousand Year Door caliber Paper Mario game. Yeah, probably not, Luminous. 
But maybe, I don't know. I mean, they've tried so many different things with Paper Mario over the years now. It's like, why not revert back to what we love now? Like, fucking the last fly. Um, at some point, I feel like they have to revert back to what we love. It's just that every fucking company mm -hmm. is trying to stay away from JRPGs. God, that bug is trying to buzz right in my fucking face right now, dude. Bug is trying to mean mug me right now. I'm going to whoop some ass. All right, this time I'm just going to give him the star without saying no at all. You said better reward if I say yes right away, right? saying no you eventually just get one coin well i definitely don't want just one coin oh by the way luminous i know you and dragon tried to get me to go back and pick up a weapon for gino last time um it turns out apparently that must be missable because i looked up how to get it and it's just not there apparently so it really must be missable if you don't go get it right after you finish the uh beating bowyer i guess Paper Mario, the Origami King. Yeah, you shared the same opinion about Sticker Star and Splash. Color Splash, you didn't touch the latest game yet. To this point, the latest Paper Mario game I actually enjoyed would be Mario and pa Luigi Paper Jam. That is a set of games I should play for you guys. The Mario, and R the Mario and Luigi RPGs. The only one I've played is the first one. Uh, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. I'd love to replay that because I didn't. I don't even think I finished beating that one. I got to the end, I know that, but I don't know if I ever finished beating it. I would love to finish that game. And then, of course, um, you know, there's like four other Mario and Luigi games now. I'd love to play those. I've heard they're. I've heard. I've only heard good things. All right, Peach and Bowser are a lot one level stronger this time around. Let's see if it helps. Certainly doesn't help for that attack. Okay, we've learned that fire and jump didn't do shit, so just pound him into oblivion, I guess. I wonder if Malo or Gino would be good here. Gino's probably good because you could just power yourself up and whoop some ass, but you need heals. That would basically mean ditching Bowser here, but would that be worth it? I don't know. Don't know. That said, the first Mario and Luigi game, hold on. First Mario and Luigi game was still your favorite in the series, followed by the Inside Story and then Dream Team. I have played none of those other ones, so I have no opinion on any of them but the first one. By the way, when he splits, the one with the higher defense is the real one. Oh, okay, so when he splits, the higher defense one is the real one. Honestly, I couldn't tell which one was higher defense, to be honest. I guess we'll pay more attention to the, the, the attack power this next time. Will of the Wisp. What an asshole. Oh my god with this shit, dude. Well, you know what else helps? I have a magic ability to revive people now. That's going to be awesome. Don't call it a comeback. I don't know what the timing was on that. I pressed it a couple times. Gino would get fucking served in this fight? Maybe. Maybe not true. You don't know. Alright, so I did 88. And I did 82. Okay. I'm gonna use that amount to see how much the other one gets damaged, and we'll go based on that. Hundred and two. So I did more damage to the one in the back. So that would make me think the one in the front is the, the real one. Because I did less damage. You think I got it? It's a 50% revive if you miss the timing. Are you sure? If I miss the timing, you don't revive at all? Are you sure about that? 
Oh, just the HP recover is different. Okay, I get it, I get it. It's 50% revive. Sorry, you're right. I, I, the way you worded that, it got me confused, but I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Stop stabbing my boy Bowser. Keep, keep up with the heals. We'll be fine. Last time I used up all my freaking FP right away trying to do magic on this fool and it didn't do shit, so... Just focus on attacks. This is why I would use Geno, though, Drew. I would use it to power up Mario's defense and power with his with his Geno boost. And then same with Geno. And we would do, probably be doing more damage, to be honest. That's why I would use Geno here. Because this is a magic fight. Bowser's extra defense isn't helping me. So switching to Geno wouldn't be a horrible idea. I'm going to fight this with this group for now. But I may switch Geno in and for Bowser if I have to do it again. We'll see. Just to give it a whirl, if you will. Nice. Nice miss, bro. I'm probably still going to win this with this group. I'm just saying, if I had to, Gino wouldn't have been a bad choice. Bitch slapped that hoe. Bitch slapped that hoe. Bitch slapped that hoe. Group hug. Time for him to go double mode again. Okay. What do we got in terms of damage? That's a 118. Oh, wow. That's a victory, baby. Never mind. I mean, Geno's defense is pretty bad to magic, but I don't know. All I'm saying is, Drew, I fucking won, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> there we go. Smithy is now in the race for the star pieces. What horrible surprises might he have in store for Mario? I don't know. Holy shit, man. What a fucking fight. Okay, well, guys. Oh, wow. A key. Hello. Got the shed key. What? To Mario. Knowing you, it must have been a breeze knocking down Yara, eh? By the way, my pirates say they saw a huge axe flying across the sky. It's probably one of Smithy's nasty friends. Go get him, pal. Well, my gills are failing on me, so I'll be heading back down. Drop in whenever you have time, okay? Your true mate, Jonathan Johnny Jones. John Jones, the UFC man himself. All right, well, anyway, that watch victorious. I'm thinking the shed key opens the shed around here so people can... Yeah, here's all the homies. Whew, thanks, Mario. I've had enough of this cramped, dirty old place like this. Hey, fella, you got us out of a bind. Peace, brother. It was mighty unpleasant in here. Thanks for helping us out. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot. Be sure to stop by. Yeah, stop on by. Thank you for freeing us. I've got to get back to work now. But stop by the inn. See you there. Ah, uh, Mario. Thank you for saving our little town of Cheeseye. You spoke to fake townspeople who gave up your star to save us. Please take this with our thanks. Flower box, huh? Oh, cool. I don't have room for it. Bitchin'. Um, we'll just toss a mushy. It's fine. All right. Cool. Any secret boxes up in this bitch? Guess not. When you do the timing, the better you time it, the more damage you do. Same for defense. That's why sometimes you take zero. That means you timed it perfectly. Oh, okay. I see. I actually didn't realize there was a difference between perfect timing and regular timing, I guess. But I have noticed with damage, there's definitely a perfect damage timing versus a regular. So I guess that makes sense. I didn't realize it mattered that much, but I guess it do. I guess it do. 
All right, well, all these shops are useless to me, which sucks, but it is what it is. I feel like I should talk to everybody, though, in case somebody gives me something, you know? In town, in town made up of reformed monsters. A mouse came by the other day and overheard him boasting about a star of theirs. I don't know exactly where this town is located, but if you follow the road, you'll get there. Yeah, okay. Mon that's Monstro Town, I believe. I remember that. You can definitely do half-assed successful hits and blocks. Yeah, I've definitely been learning that. I don't care about the frog coin guy. Can't trade any frog coins. That's money. Damn it. Health food store? I'm just curious. What do you sell? Just a bunch of... Basically, it's just all the healing items. I don't remember there being this many shops here. I'm the mushroom boy. I'll give you items in return for those special mushrooms. Oh. Okay. I don't think I do. Wait. Oh. Oh, this is a bear. Oh! Does this count? I'm not using any money. I'm trading an item for another item. Does that count as, as a currency? Because I didn't use any of my money. I'm trading one item for another item. Does that count? I forgot that was a thing. Basically, you give him mushrooms... And he'll, and he'll make them into other items, basically. Or sometimes he'll give you other items. I don't know if it's always, but sometimes. But he gave me a maple syrup, which is pretty sweet. I didn't realize what was going to happen there. You can get free mushrooms in the forest. Yes, actually, I did know that, Luminous. I forgot that he took regular mushrooms and he just makes them into other items. I'm assuming that's okay for the scavenger run because that's just using items that I already have. I'm not spending my money. I know Drew is the authority. That's why I'm kind of asking out loud. I know he's here. Also, hey, Allegory. What's up, man? Can't buy any of that stuff. Can't stay on the end. Just saying hi before you go drop in and play some more God of War. Sweet, dude. I'll probably pop in. I'm, I'm actually going to wrap up here in a moment myself, to be honest. I'm just kind of looking around right now after finishing this area. Oh my god, look at all that stuff I can't buy! Since you're scavenging for the shrooms, it sounds legit. Yeah, and you're just trading them for other items, so I'm not using any money. I think it's legit. Damn, look at all those weapons! Ah! I hate it. How good am I at glitching through shit in Ocarina of Time? Uh, not at good at all, actually, Allegory. I actually don't glitch at all when I play Ocarina of Time, so I am not much of a, uh, not much of a glitcher at all. I'm gonna go ahead and give him some more mushrooms, fuck it. I'd rather have other things than mushrooms, basic mushrooms. Yeah, see, sometimes you'll just have regular mushrooms and you'll be like, thanks for the snack, bro. Alright, one more. Damn it, that's three regular mushies he took from me. Bastard. Hey, I'll do one more. Oh, a flower mushroom for a flower tab. Yo! Alright, I'm doing the last one. If that's one of the possible rewards, we're doing it. Flower tabs are 100% worth it. Asshole. Alright, that was the last of my mushies. I don't want him to eat my max mushroom. I don't even know if he can, but I don't even want to take a chance. Alright, so yeah, that's it for this place. I guess we're uh, done here. Now we can go to the next area. Indeed. We can go to the Land's End. Well, guys, next time on the Super Mario RPG Scavenger Run, we're going to go to Land's End. That's what we're going to do next time. This is where we're going to stop. I know the whole seaside area just took me an entire stream, but Jesus Christ. That was a tough area. I didn't remember how tough. It's especially tough without healing items. So, you know, at some point it was expected that we were going to get cucked at one part. And that was our first part. Which only means it's going to be just as bad from here on out, I'm sure. So, yeah. Next time on the Mario RPG Scavenger Run. The Lands End and, lands end and Beyond. I'll see you guys then. Peace out.